Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi my loves, it's Destin Choice and you're watching Choice TV. So today's video I really wanted to get on here and I wanted to specifically address Lisa Bonet in this video that's recently gone viral that's resurfaced from 30 years ago. So as we all know, Lisa Bonet got her start on The Cosby Show when she was 16 years old back in 1984. Pretty much, that show pretty much made her career. She was known for being the beautiful girl with the beautiful locks. She was just gorgeous. Everyone loved her. And of course, as time went on in the late 80s, she eventually left the show and ventured off to do A Different World, which of course ended horribly because she was only on for one season and that led to her being fired from the show because she ended up getting pregnant with her now daughter, Zoe Kravitz. And she also got married with Lenny Kravitz and of course we all know Bill Cosby wasn't fond of that and he got her ass fired off the show took her off the show and the manner that she returned to the original series the Bill Cosby show For one Bill Cosby wasn't happy with her getting pregnant at 20 years old right when she starts a new show Two, Bill Cosby wanted her to remain being this good girl because she was getting married to a rock star and he didn't really agree with who she was marrying. And to put the icing on the cake, we all know Lisa Bonet did that controversial film, Angel's Heart. Considering Lisa Bonet had that good girl, girl next door image, a lot of people weren't very happy with her shift in the way she was acting. Now, Lisa Bonet has always been very spiritual and vocal as she has aged throughout Hollywood, but she pretty much credits her daughter and her marriage for why she became even more spiritual. And a lot of times when you have children, you start to really realize the world around you and how how much of an evil and scary place it truly is. So this video has resurfaced and went viral of Lisa Bonet because 30 years ago, Lisa Bonet went on to the Phil Donahue show to vent and give her opinion about the damn Vaselines. Now, we all know the Vaselines have been a topic of discussion because, of course, we now have these new Vaseline passports, and now they're saying, oh, if you don't get this Vaseline, you can't come eat this processed food at Applebee's. If you don't get this Vaseline, you can't come back to work. If you don't get this Vaseline, you can't come back home. If you don't get this Vaseline, you can't live on Earth. You know, stuff like that. We know it's been a very controversial subject ever since the rise of this I'm not gonna say the word, let's just call it the, the Pokemon, because we know this shit has evolved into numerous strands, which I dead ass believe they're making this shit in the lab, but <laughs> that's another video for another day, and another video that a lot of people don't wanna hear. Anyway, Lisa Bonet made her appearance on the Phil Donahue show in 1990. Now, Lisa Bonet went on giving her opinion about why she feels like Vaselines are very unnecessary and very detrimental to society. And basically, she went on a whole rant about veganism, a plant based diet, and what changed her whole view. Tell me, Lisa, just, uh, we gotta. If they want to ask about it, and they will, it's, it's legal, but uh, we don't want to have too many subjects in the air get confused. You're not scared you didn't vaccinate your baby. I'm scared. I'm scared, and I'm scared to vaccinate her, which is why I didn't vaccinate her in the first place, and which led me to, to read about the warnings that are out there. And what I've learned are there warnings about introducing these alien microorganisms into our children's blood and the long-term effects, which could be trivial, or they could be quite hazardous, and they could be just allergies or asthma or sleep disorders, or they could be cancer, leukemia, multiple sclerosis, mm -hmm. sudden infant death syndrome. It's very scary and it's very serious, and I and I think because I, I felt <coughs> wrong doing it, is that's why I didn't do it. And uh, you know, I mean, we have to think twice. Why are our children getting these diseases? <coughs> What? And what is the uh, biochemical legacy of the vaccination? How long does it last and what might it be its effect? Yes. Yeah, You're putting something into your baby's bloodstream. All right. But you should be able to believe these people that are telling us what is good for us. Why? We because be. they're our exactly. brother man. Yet, that's not the case. Now, Lisa Bonet says that a big chunk of her spiritual journey came from when she read this book. And this book alone is what made her really wake up about the evils of the world and the corruption. And she tried to warn society. But what happened? The audience laughed at her, mocked her, and even decided to criticize the way she was dressed and the way she looked. Phil, I have a concern about Lisa's um, reluctance to vaccinate her baby. I can understand your concern about some of the side effects from some of the vaccinations, but if you look into the literature, you'll see that many, many more children have been saved from those vaccinations than have been killed from them. And I work in public health, and I just think it's too bad to give people the idea that not vaccinating your baby is a positive thing to do. I really feel strongly about it. There's always exceptions. There's always exceptions. The idea is just to, to automatically trust and take uh, someone else's word as, as the truth yeah. and then go ahead and do it without even researching yourself. Right. I think she's posing the idea that maybe you should research it and take your baby as an individual and not just as another one coming through on the production line and here, give it pills, give it this, shoot it up. Yeah. Uh, Lisa, you know, the vaccinations Lisa have done some great Lisa, things. Lisa, I'm not that's sure true. you disagree with the woman's premise. Well, I think that... Uh, babies have been saved by the vaccine. Yes. Now, the, now the question is, 
what is the mother what is the mother's responsibility today and should it be made individually and thoughtfully and with information which is i guess what you think you did huh that's yes and until i find maybe uh more information that says i should vaccinate my child you know maybe then i will but right now i feel very skeptical both ways and if that's if i do feel that that fear then i'm not going to put that stuff in my, my baby's body yeah. I have a child that's going to kindergarten. I had to prove that he was immunized. What will you do when your child needs to go to kindergarten? Well, I'm not so sure that Zoe's going to go to kindergarten. And the other situation... You better tell us. Uh, <laughs> Lisa, you're, you're three or four shows here. Uh, <laughs> but, and also, there are um, religious documents that you can get, and right. there are ways around it. When I think of um, those children who have not been breastfed, who have lost that natural immunization, and then are pumped with this other, these other vaccinations for, it, it seems completely unnatural and very, very frightening. And the fact that the a very bunch of rich people who have, who gave us formula, telling us that this was better than than our breast milk. You're you're angry about that. And oh, it makes me furious. And that mothers have lost that bond, well, well, and and <laughs> that our children have lost that health. So uh, Zoe will not have fish or chicken then, is that right? No, they're poisonous now. You know, they're not, it's not, even if you get organic chickens, you know, our, 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 our oceans are polluted. Are you there, caller? Hi. Hi. Um, I do believe that the three people on your stage right now have a good cause. And aside from Raul, I think that both Lisa and River don't give an appearance, so people might not take them as seriously as they might if they gave a more presentable appearance. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> we got to get a certain tie for River and maybe some... Uh, but you know what, though? <laughs> you know, you're going to let nutrition and health and love, like, you know, you're going to hold yourself back from life well, because the of the way we're... A, yeah. Our appearance. It's not about dress code, you know. Yeah, these embark on some great trips, and I don't know. I'll but I assume you them. have been vaccinated. Yes, I so have. So the issue would only extend to Zoe. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Lisa. Um, what do you plan to do for your child as she grows up? It, I, this would be a good suggestion to me, also, to stop childhood diseases or colds. You know, aspirins. Nutrition, what are you going to do about nutrition? That? First of all, is you know, why why are people getting sick? We have to ask ourselves this question. And cancer and and heart disease and heart attacks, we're where does it come from? Sick, are we? No. We're really not. We, and we're it's missing possible. the boat of life. So y'all see why her thoughts on the Vaseline have gone viral because you guys know that it's a topic of discussion nowadays. Considering this video went viral, BuzzFeed a few weeks ago created a viral article trying to debunk Lisa and call her a anti vaseliner Not only that, they created a whole article and a whole dissertation saying why everything she said was considered misinformation now that this clip is resurfaced and gone viral. Interestingly enough, they put her on the list and Lisa Bonet hasn't been in the spotlight for nearly years. And it's so interesting because back then people would have looked at her like, oh, she was insane, she was stupid. And now we're in a world where every single person is having a serious discussion about Vaseline. Um, and so what, what, brings you got, what brings you guys out here today? Uh, we're, bring, we're out here because, as you know, California is mandating that all healthcare workers be vaccinated by September 30th. Uh, frankly, that's a violation of human rights. It's a violation of the Nuremberg Code. And it's a violation of the Constitution. They're choosing us, they're making us forced to get the vaccine or be unemployed. And the hypocrisy is real. Last year, they decorated us as healthcare heroes. Even when we were down to just a limited PPE, we were treating COVID patients for a year and a half without the vaccine. And now they want us to get the vaccine or we're out. So last year we were heroes and now this year we're facing unemployment. Now, let me just start by saying, just because someone doesn't want the Pokemon Vaseline, because you guys know this damn shit is always evolving into Charizard and evolves into Pikachu, because, anyways, just because someone doesn't want the damn Vaseline shot because they're scared of the Pokemon, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're against Vaseline as a whole. Some people just aren't okay with certain Vaselines. And please don't hit me with that, but what about what's in your food? What about what's in your processed chips and your processed salsa? Bitch, mind your business. And second of all, I can consume what the fuck I want because I'm choosing to put what's in my body. However, when it gets to a point where it seems like these things are getting forced, 
that's when it becomes pretty extensive. Look at places like BC, Canada, you know, British Columbia in Canada. Now they're forcing people to walk around with a QR code that scans your Vaseline status. If that doesn't sound like slavery, I don't know what is. Then look at places like China. If you guys didn't know, China is pretty much enslaved. That's just the best word I like to describe it. China's pretty much enslaved because a lot of people now don't have any type of privacy. Imagine your face being used as a digital thumbprint. Where basically, let me explain. China has what they call a social credit score system, where basically now there's over 200 million cameras all across China. And imagine walking down the street, just like how we can use our phones as facial recognition, imagine the camera from down the street being able to pinpoint your face, figure out your profile, your height, your blood type, your medical records, and exactly how old you are, when you were born, and overall, more information about you than you know about yourself. So imagine if we have stuff like that implemented in society. So you see what I mean when I say this stuff shouldn't be forced on people? It should be an individual's choice. And I'm bringing that up because imagine living in a world where they say, oh, it's necessary for us to have facial recognitions on all the cameras in the, in, in the world because that way we can figure out what your health status is. Your health status is important. So that's why we need all those cameras to recognize your face and your profile. No privacy. Now, Lisa Bonet made a lot of very good points when it came to the Vaseline because a lot of people have made a lot of interesting claims about ever since they've given their child certain Vaselines, they've noticed a rise in their mental health, a way they've been acting. They've noticed that their kids have been hyperactive. You know what I mean? Why is it so common for so many people to have ADD? Why is it so common for so many people to have ADHD? Why is it so common for a lot of us to have so many underlying conditions? Why do so many people at very young ages just out of nowhere get sick after two years of being born? You see what I mean here? You know, a lot of these things shouldn't be forced. And Lisa Bonet faced a lot of criticism back in the early 90s when she vividly stated that she was not going to give her child any Vaselines at all. But look at her daughter now. Her daughter has been vegan her entire life, has never eaten meat, and her daughter is full-blown, all grown up and healthy and successful. So this just goes to show you that even though her daughter is what some people would call the exception, that's just a good exam example of why you should not force Vaseline's on people. Let parents have the choice. And it's crazy because when she came out and spoke about this, the media portrayed her as a rebellious girl. She's that girl from that ratchet movie that was rated X. You know, she took off her clothes in a movie and she was topless and did voodoo and all that other shit, casting spells. Now we live in a world in society where a lot of people are now going against the people who don't want to take it and calling them anti-Vaselineers. You see what I mean? It's like, how is somebody anti-Vaseliner just because they don't want to put something in their body? And it's like, just because someone doesn't feel comfortable putting a damn Vaseline in their body, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're a threat to society or they're dangerous and shit like that. You know, you even had Don Lemon's bitch ass sitting up here saying, if you don't want to get the Vaseline, then you should be left behind. It's like, what kind of bullshit is that? Oh, you can't shame them. You can't call them stupid. You can't call them silly. Yes, they are. The people who aided and abetted Trump are stupid because they believed his big lie. The people who are not getting this, who are believing the lies on the Internet instead of science, it's time to start shaming them. What else? Or leave them behind. And a lot of people will look at this kind of clip and a lot of people are even saying on social media, well, who cares about Lisa Bonet? She lost her mind. You know, she did the Angel Heart movie. You know, Bill Cosby basically disowned her. When in reality, a big reason why Lisa Bonet pretty much left Hollywood was because she left Hollywood by choice. And let's be honest here. She has always kind of gave hints about the evils in Hollywood, but a lot of people never really noticed. For example, she was, you know, she's a huge example of child stars that were in a way exploited and treated like shit. For one, it came out that Bill Cosby wasn't very nice to her behind the scenes when she got married and when she decided to have kids. Meanwhile, she was grown as hell and it's her personal life. Not only that, you would see a lot of little subtle cues in her interviews, all the signs she would drop, and you just always saw the authenticness to her. But then even when she was younger, you would see that she would get on certain TV shows like the, for example, the Dave Letterman show. This is another clip that's going viral of her doing some really cringeworthy thing. Uh, well, you, you look you, you look stunning. You're a lovely young woman. Do you mind if I ask you how old you are? I'm 18. 18 years old. Did you just turn 18? November. Okay. We're going to try. Do we have a, a counter we can put up on the screen or somebody count? Paul, can you count for us? Yeah. Okay, here we go. How about some drums? One. One. Two. Now, you're not eating them, are you? Mm -mm. I may have to Heimlich you, you know. <laughs> Three, 30 more. Four. Four. Five. Five. You're not even gonna get close, are you? Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Now this is what I wanted to see. Let's, 
take a look at that. Oh, my. That, that, that reminds me of almost every party I ever attended in college. Okay, and then you put this in the oven, and later you have a little... Are you all right? I'm fine. Good Lord, I would never have guessed you could get any more than like a dozen in there. Someone suggested I stick a whole cantaloupe in my mouth. It'd be a lot easier. Do you want to try? <laughs> uh, that's stunning. Good heavens. <laughs> Lisa, it was nice meeting you. Congratulations. You. Oh, your hands. Good heavens. Uh, but the sensationalized exploitation of young girls in the entertainment industry is a whole other video for another day. Now, also, in this viral clip, there's actually more to the footage. I was watching the full footage on YouTube, and come to find out, Lisa Boney was also spitting some real-life gems when she talked about the food that we're eating, you know, when it comes to the meat and the water. Nothing's really organic nowadays. If it is organic, it's expensive as hell. One little organic tomato will cost you, like, $3 at the fucking farmer's market in California. It's ridiculous, because people are out here like struggling to find organic food and it's so difficult for even farmers to plant organic food because now farms are getting shut down because y'all know this evil motherfucker right here owns most of the farmland in the u.s but that's another video for another day and also i want you guys to also realize that if you guys are trying to get into stocks make sure i try to buy some plant-based stocks like tattooed chef and anything that has to do with plant-based meats like beyond meat that's another popular stock because plant-based food is becoming popular for a reason Plant-based food, vegan food, vegan chicken, we all knew that shit has existed for years. It existed before the fucking pandemic and the Pokemon and the damn Vaseline, right? But notice how they're really starting to force it on us. Why is KFC coming out with vegan chicken? Since when, bitch? Why? Why is one of the biggest corporations that sells cancerous chicken with MSG and fake sodium and fake sugar... That they sprinkle on our shit that really enhances your damn mental health and your depression and your anxiety. Why are they, of all people, coming out with vegan chicken saying it's the healthy way to go and this is the this is the health friendly like vegan meat is becoming more and more dangerous because a lot of vegan meat companies, a lot of fast food companies like McDonald's are trying to find ways to compete. They're trying to make their vegan meat taste better. They're trying to make their vegan meat taste as close to meat as possible. So that way they can say Oh, wow. So, yeah, you guys think meat is dangerous? It's okay, vegans. Come here. If you want to go vegan here, try this. It, it has a whole bunch of shit in it. It has a whole bunch of processed chemicals in it, and it has a whole bunch of bullshit in it, but it's not as dangerous as the meat that we give you. But it's still dangerous. Take this. You see what I mean? So, vegan meat now is starting to become very polluted because, yes, a lot of times vegan meat is a lot safer than meat, but I feel like what Lisa Bonet said in this video holds a lot of weight because I feel like... Meat is going to be a commodity, something that's a commodity, but it's something that's also going to be very rare to find. It has to be in season at some point. You feel that the political pressure or uh, the uh, marketing pressure to buy meat and dairy is not unlike the pressure on women in the 50s and 60s not to breastfeed. Do I Absolutely. understand? Absolutely. Absolutely. And it, it only weakens us and it keeps us going back to the doctors, uh, keeps our children weak, and we've completely turned... We don't live to eat, you know, we eat to live. And uh, we seem to forget that. To me also to stop childhood diseases or colds, you know, aspirins, nutrition, what are you gonna do about it? Nutrition, that? first of all, is, you know, what, why are people getting sick? We have to ask ourselves this question. And cancer and, uh, and heart disease and heart attacks, we're where does it come to be from? Sick, are we? No, we're, really not. And we, and we're it's missing possible. the boat of life. I asked before what provoked you people to get active in this and I don't recall there being an answer what it what turned each one of you around besides, to promote this this lifestyle besides like I said opening my eyes and seeing sick people and um, and just f fear feeling the fear is listening to my body and when I ate meat I didn't feel good when I ate dairy I, I woke up and groggy my period says my periods were painful and they no right. longer are but think about this for a second Imagine if they hit us up and tell us, oh, yeah, you want some chicken breast? You want to buy some steak? Oh, it's not in season. You got to wait all the way towards the spring to get some steak. You got to wait all the way to November to get some chicken breast. Oh, you want chicken nuggets from Tyson? Yeah, that's not available yet, but we do have some plant-based ones. You want some plant-based ones? The ones that we made in the lab with a whole bunch of bullshit in it? Because, yeah, chickens are going extinct because we're trying to get this climate under control. Because we all know... Eating meat is not good for the environment. There I said it. It's the truth. Eating meat is not good for the environment because as we all know, 
animals are very balanced. They're very much aware of the universe. They're very much aware of the energy around us. And they're very much aware of the role they play in society. So when you keep killing off these animals and you keep cutting out all these rainforests and you keep eliminating this shit and all these fires keep coming out of nowhere and you keep tearing down all these trees and shit and then the hunters get those animals, kill them, and serve them up as a cheeseburger. So imagine if we go into society where we get told, yeah, um, unfortunately, meat is, is it's not good, guys. It's not good for the environment. But of course, society is never going to agree to that because society loves their meat. Imagine we get told plant-based meat is the way to go. Why are so many people investing in plant-based meat now? Why are people like Ashton Kutcher investing into plant-based meat? You know, I don't know if y'all ever watched the show Futurama, but Futurama kind of gives me a broad depiction of what I feel like is going to happen in the next 50 to 100 years, where everybody that wants to stay in regular society, where we don't get forced to do anything, is more than likely going to be underneath the sewer, right? All the people who didn't want to want to assimilate to westernized, normal, normalized society, the people who were modern got to stay up. The people who didn't want to be modern had to stay down, and they had to be in the trenches, in the sewer. Like I said in my last video, this reminds me of The Walking Dead, where everyone in society is a zombie, and if you don't assimilate to being a zombie, they're just going to chew you, bite you up, and attack you, so that way you can assimilate to being a zombie as well. And the few people who don't want to assimilate to being zombies are going to be forced to fight off of guns. This has been a conversation for a long time, and y'all remember when Kat Von D also got dragged for giving her thoughts about Vaseline's? So if y'all didn't know, back in 2016, 2017, Kat Von D had her first child. And she got a lot of backlash because back in 2016, 2017, she made it very clear that she's a full-on vegan and she is not at all going to assimilate to getting a Vaseline for her child at all. She was going to be doing a home, a home birth. She was going to do, to do everything natural and so on and so forth. Now, people actually drug her ass and said that she was putting her child in danger. Some people went even as far as saying that she should get her child taken away. You should be able to do what you feel like is best for you. Just like Lisa Bonet said, she's scared to get the Vaseline for her child and she's scared not to get the Vaseline for her child. So the best case scenario is if I'm scared of walking through that front door and I'm scared of staying right here and not walking through that front door, I'd rather just take my chances and not walk through the front door at all and go around and go the other way. But that's it. I at least respect people for being honest. And I want everyone that's going to sit up here and say, well, if you don't want to get the Vaseline, then you're just this, that, and the third. Bitch, do you get your annual Vaselines for the damn flu? Do you? Do you, do you get it? Because most of y'all haven't got it since you were 14, 15 years old. Most of you guys haven't got your annual Vaseline since you were children. I haven't got a fucking Vaseline since I was a child. But yeah, that was that for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed the discussion overall. I hope you guys got something from this and learned something from this. I want to just hear y'all thoughts. Please feel free to email me any questions you might have. Hit me up on Instagram. Please be sure to stream my podcast. Join my Patreon. It's as low as $2 a month. And yeah, that's that. Choice out this bitch. Maybe you don't know what you're doing to me. It's like me and you. I feel like chemistry. I want to be your one. Take me to my place. Because the love you give can't be replaced. Now go down. It's my oh my. To spend my life with you. I want to kiss you. Every day I'm here. I want to show my world. Don't you understand? Your love is the one in a million. It goes on and on and on. You hear better, 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 better. It goes on day long. Your love is the one in a million. Your love, it goes on and on and on. You hear better, better, better. All day long, turn it inside out, make my heart be, say no one else, you're all I need, you don't need to be, be, here's the truth, what is your heart, it is a shame, now go down, oh smile, your smile, I can't deny, got a question on you, yeah, excuse me, and I'm giving you, 
Make me believe your love is the one in the million. It goes on and on and on. You it goes all day long. Your love is the one in the million. Love. It goes on and on and on. Ooh, your love, you it has a hope better. It goes all day long. I'll give you anything you want from me. Anything you want, anything you need, anything that you desire. Anything. I'll give you anything you want from me. Anything you want, anything you want, anything that you desire. Anything. That's all you get for free. Thanks.